Hey, welcome to Not Exactly Wargroove. Recently, I found out that there's a new game not even in alpha yet called Net King's Call. It's supposed to be a crossover between Mega Man and Wargroove, or Mega Man and Advanced Wars. So I had to check it out. It turns out they're looking for playtesters right now, and I thought I'd give it a go and show you guys this game while I'm at it. Alright, I'm not sure if everyone's supposed to go on new demo or start full. Uh, I guess new demo. New game. I'm digging the music so far, that's for sure. Whoa. Okay, I, I'm seeing the Mega Man influence right there. Uh, start. Cool! Oh, this is really neat. I love this. Ooh, okay. Alright. En enemy soldiers are moving around. Uh, I'm not sure what's happening, though, or what anything is. But it's definitely neat. Very good overlay, though. I like the overlay, and it's got a very cool background. The music is a bit reminiscent of, I don't know, maybe like... Into the Breach or something? I very much like it. Alright. We're making good progress so far. Seems like you've got the gist of a large-scale overview of the battlefield. I didn't do anything yet. Do yourself a favor and keep paying attention. We're getting ourselves into smaller-scale warfare, the nitty-gritty, okay? Alright, alright, okay. So this is, this is very much a tutorial. Okay. I selected a squad. And they're kind of at the bottom. This, this girl's kind of in the way. Oh, I want to see the squad. Let me see, let me see the squad. You got yourself a couple of options. I'll run through them, alright? Oh, okay, so they, they, they picked it up and put it here for this explanation. I still don't know who these two kids are. Uh, you can move units to the other tiles to reposition them using the move command. Okay, so this, this is the move command, this thing in red here. Got it. And with the attack command, you can see what tiles your squad can attack. All right. Guard command will fortify its units. Oh, okay, that's new. You can't do that normally in, like, Advanced Wars or War Group. There's, there's a guard option. Once you're able to move squad onto a building, you can use the capture command. Alright, so it's going back to more advanced wars and less wargroove. In wargroove, you attack the building, right? In advanced wars, you capture it and it's like separate. And this can take multiple turns. So it, it's more advanced wars leaning than kind of wargroove, which branched off a little. I mean, wargroove is realistically, unofficially, like, w advanced wars 5. It just is. I kind of like how wargroove did buildings, though. But this is a nice throwback. And lastly, if your unit has any special abilities... Oh, special ability command. Okay. Want to make any progress here? You're probably going to want to get started. Yep. Alright, so th this, this is my unit over here. Looks like these are some early sketches. I'm guessing they're going to fill that out in a bit. Alright, so the unit I select has this weird kind of yellow kind of bars flowing over them. That's interesting. And then I, I, I can modify them here. Alright, move command. Oh, now that you pick the move option, you'll be shown where the units can move. That makes sense to me. Uh, take care when you're moving your units. Alright. I get it. Maybe I should have picked game instead of tutorial demo. Well, we'll see how this goes. You gotta pick the right target. Yep, yep. Go ahead, get your soldiers moving. Alright, they, they want me to put these dudes here. No problem. I, I could do that. Alright, we have enemy units in range. Get ready for combat. Alright, so... Move these guys here. Now, now I hit the, the, the attack command. I kind of want to attack this building. I guess I, I, you can't do that. Can I just ignore him? No, he won't let me. Alright, alright. I'll attack. I'll play along. I'll play along, Mr. Demo. Let's do this. Oh! What? What, what? Wait a minute! It doesn't just automatically happen? You go into a different battle screen? What is this? What is this madness? Uh, I can't skip this tutorial. This this seems essential. Hey, the, those guys talking before, I don't know. But this, this seems super important. Eliminate the other team. Okay, that makes sense. The battle will end after 30 seconds, or when an entire team is eliminated. Oh, shit! This is getting real. The blue side is under your control, and... Yeah, yeah, okay, this is the Mega Man bit. So, so, so when you, when you battle, it's not just, like, automatic, it happens, hand wave. There's, there's actual moving and stuff. This unit is the commander. You fully control its movements. W-A-S-D. Uh, J for basic attack. You can hold J for charged attack. Alright, so I, I have both hands on the keyboard for this. I guess I could do it with one hand, technically, but it's a little bit awkward. These are your support units. They'll take your orders. Um, select support 1 with K and 2 with L. 
Okay, so right hand is JKL, and left hand is WASD. Got it. Um, you can select your support unit by clicking on them, and when giving commands, the battle will pause uh, while you give orders. Okay, cool. How's PvP gonna work, though? I, I guess it pauses for your opponent, too. Try experimenting with different commands and units to find the best strategy. All right, all right, all right. How do we do this? Uh, enter to start, okay? Here we go. Execute the battle. Oh, very Mega Man, okay. Oh, oh, crap. How does this work? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm, I'm getting wrecked. Uh, how, I'm, I'm trying to use my charged attack. Am, am, am I succeeding? I, I hit something. I really don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, I, I selected a support. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, skirmish. Yeah, I, I attack them. Attack them because I'm dying terribly. Player deleted. Oh, I died. I died. I, I don't know what we were doing there. I don't know. Please select a new unit to be the commander. Oh, I guess this one. That's all I got left. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. What do I do? Okay, this this dude's melee. That's a little easier to figure out, so I can just slash repeatedly. No, I died. I attacked them, but I got wrecked because I had no idea what I was doing. Not half bad. I, I got destroyed. Dude, what game were you watching? Half decent tactician. I'd have to agree. Well, part of that was tactician. That was that was me button mashing, trying to trying to figure out how to. That was cool though. Um, but I I, I kind of got to get the hang of it before I can really figure out if I like it or not. But it's kind of interesting because you can't just click in battle. A battle, you actually do something now. All right then, finish this turn off with any remaining attacks or movements and click enter. All right. Well, I want these guys to move over to this building so that I can see what that does in there and capture it. All right, so that, that capturing is in progress, but it doesn't look like I can see the status of the building being captured, which I don't really like. I want to be able to see that. Yeah, like I said, th this is in like pre-alpha right now. It, it's currently under testing. That's why some of these are drawings. So I, I'm guessing the developers may watch this video. And by the way, guys, I, yeah, I, I had some kind of indicator because I, I can't figure out like how far I am along in capturing this thing. All right. We're gonna move these guys, I guess, over here. Move it. I, I also really can't figure out like what this is that I'm moving. Like, what, what kind of unit is this? I, I need more information. I need to know what unit this is, what its strengths and weaknesses are. Like, Wargroove has the codex. You could like right click on it. Whoa. Yeah, you could right click and then bring up the codex, and it'll tell you what kind of unit this is and give you a brief idea of the damage matrix and everything. I kind of need something like that to give me like on-screen data. I, I guess I'm just done here. I'm gonna end my turn. All right, enemy phase. Again, really love the pop-up UI. Those kids were kind of annoying because they, they covered things I wanted to see, but the rest of this is really neat. Smooth movement, although the battlefield doesn't always shift into view while they're moving, so it can get a little bit dizzying. But I really like the animation other than that. All right, what's happening? Is it my turn? All right, it's my turn. Um, oh, this was the dude that got like wrecked before. Well, let's start with these guys having captured this building. All right, I finished it. So it's a, it's a two-turn capture, kind of like Advanced Wars. Though I don't, I don't know what capturing this building gives me. Um, okay, all right, we're gonna go here. Yes, move here. I kind of wish I could just click them and then click the empty square and then they'd move, and attack this. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Give me the tutorial again, cause I got wrecked last time. Eliminate the other team. Thirty second battle. Yeah, I get that. Um, you fully control its movements. J for basic attack. You could hold J for ch charge attack, which will trigger when really. All right. Yeah, I tried that. that. That didn't end so well for me. These are the support units. Uh, select support with L and K. Yeah. Execute your support units by clicking on them when you give commands. The battle will pause. All right. But I still don't know, like, range and stuff. All right, hold on. All right. Uh, uh, the first thing... All right, enter to start. No, no, no. I don't want... I want to give my dudes commands before we start. So I want you to skirmish. Uh, L and K, right? And I want you to skirmish. I, I want everybody to skirmish. Okay. Now I'll hit enter. Uh, let's see if we do a little bit better this time now that my, my, my dudes are actually fighting. There we go. Oh, oh, cool. Okay, I got an archer dude. He, he seems like a boss. Oh, yeah, tons of damage. So I'm going to charge move this guy and wreck him. Nice. Piercing arrow. That, that is kind of like not attacking me. 
Okay, all right, we did it, we did it. Cool, cool, cool. Battles fought against this enemy two, units lost to this enemy two, rank C. I, I guess it's a rank C, because previously I got wrecked by these guys. But it, it's ranking the individual battle, not the whole, like, war, I guess, which is interesting, because, like, in Advanced Wars, you get, like, a rank for the war and stuff. All right. I already moved these guys, and I can't move them again, but that's not clear. I need, like, some kind of indicator that these guys have already moved. They need to be, like, grayed out or something. So, that's something else they're gonna have to fix. Alright, this dude... Ooh, forest! Does that give me, like, a, a defensive bonus or something? Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see what we got here. Alright, I, I think I got this. I, I, I think I get it. What? Wait, what are these things? No! Uh, shit. Alright, we'll, we'll do what we can. Okay, so these things can be attacked. Maybe I don't want to attack them. Oh, shit. How do you, like, teleport onto... I don't even know what just happened. I got wrecked. Oh, they're in the forest, too. Okay, so I guess the forest, instead of giving you defense, it gives you, like, these nub things that you could, like... Wait, but they can't move now? Why? Why can't they move? Are they, like, trapped in the city? Pretty sure I didn't move them this turn. Oh, I captured with them this turn. Okay, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. So instead of giving you a defensive bonus, it gives you things you can hide behind. Which have, like, their own health bar. It's kind of interesting. Am I being attacked now? Oh, yeah. I'm being attacked now. Okay, okay. So we learned from before how to do this. We, we totally learned from before how to do this. I'm going to queue up you I want to skirmish and you I want to skirmish. Then I'm going to hit enter so that I'm ready. All right. And I'm going to start. Oh, shit. Big damage. I'm just going to mash this button. Screw it. Mash. Mash the button. Mash for the win. Ah, crap. Mash for the win did not work. Uh, how do I, like, do that thing where like, I teleport to their side and start fighting them? I guess I gotta use my charge move for that. Uh. No, that doesn't work. Oh, shit. I missed. N don't die. Curse. Wait. Okay, I got my charge move charged. Now I'm gonna use it. It didn't use, though. How, how do I sword jump to you? I'm trying to... It's not, it's not working. I don't know how to do that. Yeah, you gotta explain that a little better, because I'm not clear how, how, how I do sword jump. Their, their swords were jumping to me, but I couldn't, like, jump to them. Alright, um, let's move over here. Again, I really need to be able to click these guys and then click the tile, so that's something they could, they could probably fix. Ooh, um, you know what? Let, let's not do that. Undo. Cancel. I can't cancel? Ah, rip. Okay, we also need cancel move command, because I'd rather go in the forest. Here we go. Here we go. All right, all right. Uh, can I just straight up, like... And I also don't know what any of these things do. That needs an explanation, too. Yeah, like, the dudes were talking a lot about strategy and positioning, but I already know all that. I need to know, like... What does this guy do? How do I, like, jump to their field and hit him with a sword? Like, that kind of stuff. Like, the, the game specifics. Alright, so I'm charging my attack, but I let it loose and, like, nothing happens. My archer dude is, like, wrecking their... Oh, I did it somehow! Cool! I don't know how, but I did it. I really wish I knew how I did that, though. All right, I did the teleporty thing. I did the. This is gonna. This is taking some figuring out. You already moved. You already moved. You move here. Attack these guys. All right, all right. We got this. We got this. Uh, I think we got this. So once again, I'm gonna click on you and say skirmish because that that seems to be the best option. I don't even know what heal does. I haven't learned how to heal. All right. Or, or do they heal me? Because th that could be useful. All right, I did the teleporty thing, I think. So you charge it up, wait for them to not be glowy, and then release it, and that's how you do it. And if I keep moving around, then I can avoid their teleporty thing, I think. Okay. No, I, I can't, as long as they do it on me, it auto-hits? I'm not sure. All right, I hit theirs, but why didn't theirs hit me? I don't know. All right, there we go. I out teleporty thing to that guy. I I've definitely gotten better at this. Wait for him to fire, and then wreck him. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got the hang of this teleporty thing. 
So I feel like I take out an army with just one sword dude if I'm good at this mini fighting game, which is pretty interesting. Alright. Alright, that, that's cool. So I, I won, right? What What's going on? Didn't I win? I thought I won. Enemy phase. Or is that like a barracks? I hope that's not a barracks. Player turn four. Alright. Alright, so we're finding some bugs. We're definitely finding some bugs here. But like I said, this is pre-alpha. This game, this game isn't even in alpha yet. It's gonna be awesome when it's done. I am pretty confident in that. Like, I'm loving it so far. It's just, you know, bugs are part of the beta testing. Alright. Here we go. Let's move over here. And then attack this thing. So I can attack it even though it's a building. Cool. Or maybe it was a dude. I don't know. Or maybe you attack the HQ. I, that, that wasn't really clear. That needs to be made more clear. Okay, you, you're on healing duty, and I want you to heal me. Awesome. Okay, this is going to go great, because now I've got a healer. And they've got two healers. So I probably need to, like, take out their healers with, like, specialty attacks and stuff. All right, awesome. Did did I take tons of damage? Where am I? Oh, I'm, I'm on their side of the field. How did I do that? I'm still trying to figure out this teleporty thing. Alright, I, I, I did damage somehow. Alright, I killed one of them. I definitely killed one of them. I'm trying, to get, I'm trying to get the healers before the boss. The healers are throwing like water balloons and shit. Uh oh. Wait, did I win or what happened? Or we ran out of time. I, I guess we ran out of time. No, the screen's too far north. I can't, I can't select my other dude. Gotta end my turn. Yeah, the, the inability to scroll and move around is kind of... Or maybe I use WSAD for that? Oh, I use WSAD for that. Okay, okay, okay. So you, you can scroll the screen. That's not a bug. You just got to use WSAD for that. I was not aware of that. Cool. All right. Um, I want you to continue to heal me because I think we got this if you do. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to use that glowy, chargey thing. I'm still figuring out. Boom! Did I hit him? No, he got healed. Oh, screw your healer, man. I'm taking you out. Oh, crap. He's, like, protecting his healer. And because he's an archer, he could do that. I, I don't know how I'm supposed to win this. I, I, I can't hit the healer. It's impossible. He, he's he's behind the... I, I, I got, like, aim for the split second when they're, they're apart or something. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Oh, and I absolutely cannot let that thing hit me. Or I'm just done. Uh... Okay, yeah, th that was not working well for me. Alright. Was that the enemy's turn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I, how do I do this? It's kind of interesting because you can have an enemy you can't defeat because you can't figure out how to beat him in the, the, the minimap. Alright. Press the S key to scroll. Whoa, it's got like acceleration too. It's like a, it doesn't stop. Alright. And, and again, this guy moved short and I don't know why. Alright, whatever. You attack this. We're going to take out that healer this time. I hope. Yeah, th them doing that protecting thing is rather sucky. Alright. Lo it looks like a maybe I could deal splash damage or something. Wait for him to fire and then I go in. Alright, I'll, I'll just keep up that attack pattern. And the second he fires, I go in. Alright, I, I did some big damage, but I also got hit doing it. Uh, all right. Ah! Yeah, this is tricky. Because I, I, I can't out-heal the healer. And then I got an arrow to the face anyway. So, uh, I'm not clear on how I'm supposed to beat that. Is it impossible? Do I need my own range, dude? I don't know. I guess that's my turn. Yeah, this mysterious factory thing is kicking my ass. Alright. Oh, it spit something out. So it is like a barracks. Either that or it can just spawn these guys wherever it wants. The rules on how that thing operates were not made clear to me. Alright. I, I gotta take out that healer. Alright, he fired. Now I go in. Nope, that didn't work. And now. 
No, dang it. Wait for it. Dodge that and go in. No. Uh. Okay, you fired. Now I. Ah. Wait for it and slash. No, but I just got an arrow to the face. All right, I got wiped out. Yeah, I, I don't know how you're supposed to do that. Whoa, player phase, but I got nobody left. Does this do something? No? Uh, I feel like I should have lost. And for some reason, I haven't. We're gonna turn here. Okay, now I've been defeated, that's interesting. Try again, new game or new game? What about go back to main menu? I guess I'll hit new game. You know, uh, between the two options, new game and new game. Okay, this again. A little bit weird timing where I gotta wait for the shot and go in. But while he hasn't moved yet, otherwise he's gonna fire a new shot immediately when he moves and hit me in the face. If I only have a sword. Or maybe you're not supposed to be able to beat it with only a sword. But then I feel like there needs to be a surrender option or something. And I really need some text skip. Uh, that's something I'm highly recommending uh, creators owe this game. An option to just skip all this, because I, I read it before, and this is mostly tactical information, but if you've played Advanced Wars, if you've played Wargroove, you're kind of good with the tactical. Like, you know what a forest is, you know what planes are, you know what troops are. But I want to know what specifically I've got, what their stats are, what they do, what their range is, what their special attack is, that good stuff. This is useful, though, this bit here. Attack, move, guard... Maybe I need to do guard and then, like, let it attack me. That would be interesting. I don't know what guard does yet. I should probably try that. I should probably try it. All right. Well, now that I know what I'm doing. Uh, no, I don't want to move it there. I want to go to the forest. Curse you kids. I, I want to take the, the defensive position. You, 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 let me take the defensive position. I, I want to move here. No, let me move. Curse these crazy kids. All right, fine. We'll do it your way. We'll do it your way. Check their unit types, health, and positioning next time. I was going to do that, but you were like, oh, no, move to the red square. you dang right, Peter. You got a little excited there, Peter. Uh, you're an Andy, Peter. You're pretty much an Andy. And you're Sammy, basically. There's no war groove equivalent. I apologize. There's not really an Andy in Wargroove. I guess Ragna. Ragna is the Andy of Wargroove. So you're a Ragna, Pete. All right. Uh, we can skip the battle tutorial. I'm just going to tell these guys. You see, I don't know what this does. Skirmish, track, and zone. All right. YOLO, everybody skirmish. Because I, I don't know what else to tell you guys. And why am I playing as the healer? Like the healer duck. And how do I heal? I don't even... All right. So I, I launch like an egg thing, and then, I, I, all right, can, if I go over to this guy, can I heal him? No, he's already dead. Crap. Ah, I, I took big damage. All right. Uh, I'm just going to stand behind this thing so Sword Dude can't hurt me no more. Oh, but now I can only hit that one tile. Uh, that's a little bit awkward. And my special attack is a bomb, so how do I heal people? The other birdie could do it. I, I, I was kind of just stolen out. I wonder how you switch commander. Can I switch commander even if a dude doesn't die? Because I don't want to be heal bird. Yeah, I'm not clear on how to do that. Maybe I should just die as quickly as possible so that I can become the swordsman. That's an interesting strategy. Alright, I want you to guard. It won't let me do it! Why won't you let me fortify? I want to fortify. Poo. Alright. Well, we'll just let the enemies attack into us and figure it out from there. We're going to win this time. We're totally going to win this time. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Um, okay. I want you to track. Oh, uh, that guy. I guess that means go after someone in particular. All right. Yeah. Kill the healer. Do it. Cool. Okay. Try that. I'm a duck. Duck powers, go. Alright, it killed the healer. Cool, cool. And then it instantly got wrecked by swordsmen in like an epic... Oh no, and then I died. I don't even know what just happened. Alright. Yeah, oh, they're, they're still attacking. 
Uh, they didn't hit me for some reason. Maybe they don't like this trade? Well, they don't like this trade. I love this trade. Let's do it. Fight these dudes. It won't let me fortify. I'm not sure why. Okay. Here's, here's what we're going to do. We're, we're going to give different commands this time. I want you to track, meaning kill, uh, their archer because he annoys me. And I want you to constantly heal yourself. Oh, I can't do that? All right, fine. Heal me. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. It really shouldn't highlight him if he's not an option to be healed. Okay, so I hold the charge move. I teleport, and then I also have to hit the slash button, it looks like. S rank. All right, much better. Much better. I'm getting the hang of this with the, the right commands and stuff. All right, did you guys move yet? No, all right, move there. And wreck these fools. All right, we got this. Okay, we're gonna give commands that are awesome, just like last time. I want you to track, and by track, I mean destroy the healer. I want you to constantly heal me. Let's do it. Oh, I'm an archer now. Okay, so I can charge up my move and then go boom. Whoa. Ah, pen shot. All right, nice. So I, can I penetrate these forest things? Let's see. Yes, I can. Whoa, I like destroyed the forest. Uh, I'm a terrible person. I apologize, nature. I gotta kill the healer because he's like not dying and things are not dying because of him die healer all right we got the healer we, we took heavy damage from sword bro no i don't want to lose my archer yeah we did it all right s rank cool cool all right we're getting the hang of this now we're, we're getting the hang of this get the hang of this i'm gonna move these these dudes already moved so i guess we're done cool all right now we know what we're doing a little bit better so i, I think we got a much more solid grasp on the game at this point I could grab that windmill like I did last time, but I honestly don't see the point. It kind of seems like I'm just going to be battling the HQ anyway. Um, we'll capture just for the YOLOs, I guess. All right, halfway captured, but again, I'd, I'd like to see an indicator of how much it's captured here. And like, uh, guard command isn't up. Just reminding the devs of some of the stuff I'm noticing here. Uh, yeah, in case you guys are wondering why I'm complaining all game, I'm not complaining. I'm trying to let the devs know some things about the game, because this, this is a pre-alpha beta test, really. Alright. I don't think I need it. What happens if I don't give them a command? What zone do? Actually, no. Alright, everybody do your special thing. I guess only the swordsman can zone. Alright, whatever. Cool, I shot him in the face. Great. Awesome. Love it. We won. Um, alright, that's my turn for defense, but I, I don't really know. Alright, whatever. We'll attack from the plane side and try to try to wreck these guys. Alright, alright, this time we're gonna take out all the healers. Ooh, alright, low health. That's okay. I want you to track the healer, take him out, and I want you to... Oh, you can also track? Okay, cool. Um, you know what? Focus on healing me, though. Let's do this. Alright, I'm gonna try to line up pen shots, I guess. So, I fire once, then I have my charge move and let it rip. Whoa, shit. Okay. Can I shoot my own guy? I guess not. Oh, he already died. That's another thing, you'll fire at somebody, but then they'll, like, die to something else, and you'll be like, ah, was that really worth it? Wait for it. Now! Yeah, I got the healer! All right, that annoying archer dude is all by his lonesome now. We got this. And they just have to fire on him before he fires on me. And we're good to go. Whoa. Okay, so he... Oh, shit. Fire. Uh, he got me. All right, I guess I take over as the healer, and then I don't know what happened. We ran out of time. Looks like we ran out of time. But that's no problem, because I can finish this dude off even from the road or whatever. YOLO, let's do this. Let's do this! We got this. We're going to take him down. We're going to take him down. Here we go. This is this is exciting. Okay, um, just everybody track that guy. Just kill him as quick as possible. Done. Yeah, I, I'd be amazed if this guy lasts more than a few seconds with all my NPCs after him. Boom! Oh, I slashed him! I did the, t I did the teleporty slash thing. Cool! 
Great way to end it. Proper way to end it right there. Hey, tactical mastermind Annie, you forgot something. What? I can't see a single tab, menu option, or feature I didn't go over. You joking? Are you are you joking with me? There's a ton of shit you didn't go over. You didn't tell me how to win the battle. A bit of an oversight. Oh yeah, winning. That's important. Want me to explain that one? Uh, why why are you two arguing? Just, just tell me the rules. Gosh darn it. Oh man, you two are worse than Andy and anyone who ever talks to Andy. Since you're on the, the attack in this battle, you win by capturing the enemy castle. It's the seat of power. If you can capture it and then hold it for an additional turn, the territory is yours. Uh, so, so is it like a three-turn thing? Capturing can take some time. The capture meter will go up depending on the health. The full squad can capture in two turns. So yeah, so it's a three-turn thing. Actually, these guys might have some damage, so it could be longer than that. Alright, so you have the most health, so you do it. What? Oh, you moved already. Oh yeah, everyone moved. Alright, I got in my turn. But there are no more enemies. Shouldn't, like, I auto-win at this point? I feel like I should auto-win. Uh, uh, that would seem logical to me. This juncture. Okay, um, so I, I select you. I want you to move to the castle. Fantastic. Now, please capture it. Masterfully executed. The headquarters is yours. We're almost done here. Ready your defenses. Hold down. They have one final chance to counterattack. How? I killed them all. I, I, I killed them all. I don't see who's going to counterattack. Well, wh where's the enemy? There's, there's no... There's no... All right, cool. They, they can't counterattack. They died. These crazy kids. They don't know what they're saying. All right. We did it. Yep, that's why she forgot to tell you how to win the battle. All right. Uh, but wait a minute. Don't I have to sit on it for a turn? I thought you had to capture it and then sit on it for a turn. Why are they saying I won? I'm confused. I got conflicting information. What? 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 I, 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 I shouldn't have won yet. Why? Why? All right. Well, that was the demo of Net King's Call. I got to say, there are some things I really love about it and some things that I, I guess they're in the middle of working on. First off... Those kids, they just talk way too much about the wrong stuff. It's like, you could say you gotta have good tactics and positioning in like a sentence. And like, I don't know, it's kinda cute with them arguing with each other, but it's just too wordy. Uh, what I really need to know is like, that stuff about move, attack, guard, that was great. The guard button didn't work, but that, that was what I needed. Then I needed to know what the units were. Like what their range is, what their charge attacks are, what their stats are what they're weak against, right? Because I think the sword guy did like a lot of damage, but is that because he does a flat amount of damage or is he super effective against some kind of units? I need to know that stuff. It was kind of cool how you could like suddenly enter a mini Mega Man battle whenever a fight started. I really liked that, I was digging that. But when you had like a healer behind an archer and I only had one sword dude left, there was nothing I could do. I feel like that's just, that's just, I. What do you do in that scenario? Is it even possible to win? Like they they need to they need to either fix that or expand on that or explain that somehow. Cause like I I I I was trying to like snipe the healer, but even if I could hit the healer, he would heal himself. And then on top of that, I couldn't tell how the healer's heal mechanic even works, cause it didn't look like he could target himself. But I couldn't seem to damage him when I was fighting him behind the archer, and I didn't know how that worked and. So anyway, I, I need more explanation about the nitty gritty of the rules. Not so much like, you know, move here, and then you're telling me not to move in the far space for some reason, which I, I couldn't quite figure out. I mean, I get it, it was a demo, it was a tutorial, but like, and I, I need more stuff that I, I can access information on the screen. Like I need to right click a unit and figure out everything about that unit, what it's good against, what it's bad against, especially if I have a formation of multiple units. I need to like bring up a screen that shows me each unit in the formation and then I need to be able to click on it and dig down deeper and see what that unit is and then see what it's good against and see like the damage matrix and everything. So definitely need more info. I need to know what the point of capturing that first building was because it didn't seem to do anything. Um, they told me that I had to sit on the HQ for an extra turn after I captured it but then I didn't need to. I just won after I captured it. And also, wiping all enemies off the map should really be a win condition, unless there's like a special event or something. So I probably should have won, unless that was just more part of the tutorial. Oh, by the way, you can capture the stronghold too, then I get it. But that was a little weird. I loved the overlay, I loved the music, I liked the whole theme of this thing. 
The animation's pretty cool. Um, it felt a little bit clunky attacking with the healing bird, because everybody moves too fast for me to really line up a shot with the healing bird. So I could just kind of move around and spam the button, but the healing bird couldn't really, like, attack anything. That, that was a little bit weird, un unless I'm misunderstanding how it's supposed to work. Archer dude seems strong, sword dude seems strong, but I, I still don't really get how the teleport worked. Because it was like, you know, sometimes it would teleport, sometimes it wouldn't. I, I figure maybe when they're blinking from damage, the teleport fails. And sometimes I get there and he's just sitting there and I have to press the attack button, but sometimes it felt like he'd press the attack button automatically. So I, I couldn't like tell. And w once I think it hit for like splash damage or something, and once it didn't, I don't know if that was my imagination or something. So anyway, I, I need more details on, on how this actually works to be able to play it well. Um, but that being said, it's a really cool concept, great combination of like a Mega Man net battle and uh, an Advance Wars Wargroove overlay world. You can definitely do some crazy stuff. Like I, I, I bet like gamers, like uh, my, my first thought is I want to do a run where I have one sword and see if I can beat a level with one sword. It's called the One Sword Challenge. Everybody's going to love it. It's going to be great. It's going to be fun. Alright, anyway, I usually say welcome to Wargroove at this point, but I guess welcome to Net King's Call. I hope you enjoyed this super sneak peek into the pre-alpha game. Um, I hope the developers found this useful. Uh, some of the bugs, some of the concerns and feedback I found, I hope they find it useful. And I can't wait to see more of this stuff. Alright, that's all for now. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments below. I'm going to ask the devs what information they want me to provide, and I'll drop it in the description. That's all for now, and welcome to Net King's Call. <laughs>